way from weather and traffic, everybody. Alex Lee tracking that commute for you. Meteorologist Byron Miranda here as well. We've you, got puppies coming in later today. Guys. Can't wait. 8 nine o'clock, right? Oh, 8 a.m. Eight, eight a.m. is the puppy cam. Oh, oh, puppy cam. No, yeah. no, 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 but like the live puppy yeah. cam. Well, no, I know. I thought at 9 we were going to get to pick them up. Yeah. Said. Yes, all the above. All the above. Okay. Yeah. I'll have to stick around. Y yeah, you get to hold them. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm already crying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can come on back at 9, 915, I think is what they said, right? Temperatures right now, guys, um, again, where we were yesterday, essentially the same thing. Whatever you wore yesterday applies today, mid to upper 40s at this hour, running a few degrees below our average uh, low in the morning because of that cool air coming out of Canada. There's the reason. You, can you see the low? Well, watch the counterclockwise. Kind of, eh, it's kind of breaking apart now, but it's still with us. And as long as it's with us, it's going to take a little bit of time before I can say the showers are out of here. I said yesterday, yesterday, today, and tomorrow would be similar. Uh, all the way through Friday, we have a chance of a shower. It looks like uh, some of this could pick up some good lightning and thunder here later today with some daytime heating. Marching towards summer. So we've done the rain for today. When I come back at 45 after the hour, you know I give you the long range rain, get you through the weekend. Story number two, marching towards summer. Like the day in angle sun. That's what it's about when you want to heat up. For the spring equinox, which occurred on the 20th of March, you see that the temperature average was 51 degrees and 37 for a low. 51 for a high, 37 for a low. And that just shows you that the length of day was getting a little bit longer from the solstice on December 21st. We picked up now three hours in addition to the solstice at 12 hours of daylight. As we march to the equinox, or the solstice rather, the summer solstice on the 21st of June, wow, the length of day becomes very long. 15 hours of daylight, right? The average temperature high is 81 degrees. The low is 65. It's all about length of day and the angle of the sun. The angle of the sun is way up. If you walk outside today and you get under the sun, if you can find a spot without the clouds, you'll notice how strong that sun is, and that heats us up. So far, we have picked up since December 20th, four hours, four hours and 33 minutes since the solstice. Today, we're not in, we're, we're influenced by the length of day angle of the sun, but we're also influenced by some of that cooler air coming out of Montreal and Ottawa, Canada. Their lows are in the 40s, so if you get a north wind out of that, you're going to get temperatures that are going to be cooler than your average high today of around 68 degrees. So we're running about 10 to 12 degrees above below average. 55 to 58 degrees from the boroughs into Jersey. So it's a little cool today. However, by Sunday, the jet stream goes north, length of day is long, angle of sun's getting strong, so then we should heat up, right? So I think we can get up to 75 degrees on Sunday, if not 80 in the Bronx and for Jersey. 56 today, way below average, but then tomorrow and Friday, the temperatures start to go up, Alex, and then the weekend. This is going to be a perfect weekend for outdoor activity.